What's happening, everybody? I hope you're doing good. Thank you very much for stopping by once more. It's always a pleasure to discuss with you. You know, in a family setup, especially in Africa, we love talking to our brothers. We see you from all over the place. We know some of you were taken a long, long time ago. We still see you. We still respect you. We still love you. We still want to see you. Please come back home. You don't have to come forever. I mean, if you don't feel it, but just come. Come say hi. We want to see you. Before we start, this is your first time. Please feel free to join us. Click on the button, subscribe, so we can see each other very often. I'm sure we're going to love each other. And again, before we start, please let's all do this. Guys, why when I ask you to do this, you don't do this? I mean, this is frustrating. Come on, man. Let's do this. Let's be our own Joe Rogans and stuff with all due respect. Let's be our own voice. Let's make each other bigger so we can talk to each other. Let's all do this. Let's join first and do this okay great so today we're talking about something very interesting there is a very strong lady i'm sure you heard about her naledi pando of south africa we are experiencing a, a pushback uh with the announcement that israel uh, will not import grapes from south africa i think they will be the loser because our grapes are really delicious. But also um, an apparent pushback by saying there'll be no flights uh, from their airline. Well, I think those flights were not often very uh, loaded uh, with passengers. So I think it's an economic uh, decision rather than a consequence of the ICJ uh, uh, ruling. Um, the other uh, concern is with some of the proposed resolutions in the United States uh, House of Representatives. And there I think the diplomatic work must continue because as we all know, America is one of the countries that often insists on the practice of democracy and the sovereign right to pursue a country's own foreign policy, but also articulates respect for global uh, institutions such as the United Nations and its institutions such as the International Court of Justice. So when you've had that expression of support for such bodies, you can't, when it is against you, object uh, uh, to their rulings or their very uh, existence. So given the powerful stature, stature of the United States of America, we would hope that it will uh, uh, respect uh, the ICJ and call for adherence uh, uh, to its findings and thus call for a ceasefire as speedily as possible and access to humanitarian aid for the people of Palestine. Israel is saying uh, the court didn't pronounce in relation to ceasefire and therefore they have a right to continue with bombardment. Well, um, the court, the first uh, ruling was that killings of the group should stop. I don't know how you can stop killing without a ceasefire. The ruling said that uh, humanitarian aid must flow. How will it flow when there's bombardment? So you read into the uh, decision of the court the fact that there has to be a ceasefire in order for its orders to be implemented. Um, it's clear that if uh, we don't have a ceasefire, uh, Israel would uh, be in breach of the uh, findings of the court. You spoke about uh, the issue of uh, bringing more evidence ahead of uh, Israel's report to the ICJ. Uh, can you elaborate on that? Are you saying currently South Africa is monitoring what's happening and you are going to make more submissions or this will be later during the hearing of the merits of the case? I think we must uh, be in continuous contact uh, uh, with the court to express our concern when we see no action in response to the provisional measures. I think having brought the case, South Africa has a duty to continue to speak to the concerns. And everyone is aware that since the ICJ uh, uh, set out the measures, the uh, killings have continued. Uh, aid is not flowing. In fact, uh, the position of the Palestinian people is worsening by the day. A catastrophe, as the Secretary General of the United Nations has said consistently, is occurring before our very eyes. And the intention of the uh, ICJ was to stop this catastrophe and give us an opportunity to pause the atrocious actions that are underway against the people of Palestine. And finally, Minister, there are reports that uh, Iran has been involved uh, in terms of uh, assisting with uh, financial resources, either the governing party or the 
legal team. What's your reaction to this new uh, noise around the role of Iran? Well, I would say even respectable people use fake news because this is totally uh, someone's figment of imagination or it is mischief to attempt to cast South Africa in a bad light because we have successfully taken a case to the International Court of Justice against very powerful forces that are supportive of Israel and its conduct toward the Palestinian people. And having succeeded, South Africa becomes the butt of fake news and total lies.